Now, after two weeks on the witness stand, Senzo May was childhood friend and Togo Zisitwala has wrapped up his testimony. The lawyer for accused number five in this murder trial, advocate Zandile Mshololo, pressed Twala over a statement that suggests Senzo May was killed trying to stop a fight between Zandi Kumalo and her boyfriend Longwe Twala. Now, reporter Mloko Muloto was in court today in the North Gauteng High Court, Kotswane, and following that story for us, he's back now and is joining us now in studio. Good afternoon, Mloko. Welcome back. Now, Twala was questioned. I mean, he's, he's, he's been, he has questioned, rather, the authenticity of this uh, statement that says that Senzo Mewa was killed when he was trying to stop a fight between mm -hmm. Zandi Kumalo, that's uh, Kelly Kumalo's sister, and the boyfriend, Longe Twala, mm -hmm. that's the son of well-known music producer Chico Twala. Now, this statement, I understand, is attributed to Mewa's brother-in-law, Mlungi Sikhope, and it's contained in the second docket. Tell us more about this. That's very true, Braden. Maybe let's just say the stage today was set for Advocate Nsholo to cross-examine Mr. Mtogos Zitwala. The whole day, the two um, were really at the center stage there. And Advocate Nsholo started by asking Mr. Mtogos Zitwala whether he's related to both Chico Twala and his son Longwe Twala, because you can tell they are sharing, they're sharing surnames there, but he says we are not related. Then maybe let's also remind our viewers that in this particular case, the state, as well as the witnesses, all the people who were in the house, their argument is that intruders came into the house and they shot Senzo Meiwa, whereas the defense and the accused are saying there was never an intruder there. Now, today, Advocate Nsholo said that there's a statement that has been written by the brother-in-law of Senzo Meiwa, Mr. Mlungi Siklope, who says he phoned Tapelo Tumelo Madala on the day of the accident, and he says what actually happened. And according to Mr. Klope, Mr. Madala told him that Senzo was trying to separate Longwe as well as Zandi, who were fighting in there, and that's when uh, the, he, 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 he died. So Mshololo is saying that that particular statement is there. It's in the second document. You would remember docket. There's another second document which apparently is charging different people. But let me not talk more about it because it was really not uh, presented before court today. But let's listen to uh, when uh, Mshololo is saying that and how Mr. Majala, Mr. Twala reacted. I went back inside my car and called Tumelo Madlala <coughs> yes. on the said night, yes. 26 October 2014, full stop, my lord. Yes. I wanted to get the truth of what exactly happened. Yes. Tumelo told me that there was a fight in Kelly Kumalo's house. Zandi was fighting with her boyfriend. And Senzo Mehiwa, my lord, was trying to separate the two. Yeah, so Advocate Mshololo, I understand, Muluko also questioned Twala about him having been beaten up by police. Mm -hmm. What was said there? Well, Mr. Mtokozizi Twala has said that uh, shortly after uh, the killing, the police came to his house and uh, they beat him up during an interrogation. 
and I don't know whether they were trying to say he was involved in the killing of Senzo Miwa or not. But then he was asked today whether he reported that to the police, opened a case against those who allegedly assaulted him. And he says, yes, I did. The issue here is that he waited for about five months before he could report that particular case. And he did not have the medical records with him to prove that indeed he was assaulted. Now, as they were exchanging words there, at some point, he, Mr. Mtogozi Zitwala, felt that uh, advocate Mshololo was making fun of the fact that uh, he was beaten up. And of course, this would remind you of what yes, happened yesterday when another defense lawyer told him, Mr. Twala, that you are making a mockery, you are considering this as a joke. So all that also played out in court today. Let's listen to the exchange. When, when was that when you corrected your statement? Hey, I don't remember well, but I do recall that they once arrived in Durban and uh, they fetched me from work and they took me to the site of the beach. I remember that well. When was that? Was it before you were assaulted by the police or after they were assaulted by the police? When you corrected your, your first statement. Uh, it was before. Some before. of it was before. Just before, yes. And some of it it was after. Okay, yes. The PT. I would say so, yes. And yes? And, uh, and some of it it was after the assault by the police. I think Kogunye said Ngaba I think some would be now when the time when we were speaking here. I after would say shy. Not after the beating, no. After the beating, you never corrected any statement. I am Kumbula. I will say something. No, I don't recall. Let me not say that I didn't do it. I don't remember. Okay. Does it uh, uh, impress you that I was uh, assaulted with that? I told you that you are not as, as asking me questions. Advocate Zandi Lemsholole during one of the exchanges in court with Mtogo Zisitwala, a friend of the late Senzo Meiwa.